We're here with Casey from Alexity, Ryan Wagner, Anton Patton. Thanks for being here, Casey. Tell us about your history with Chint. Yeah, Tim, excited to be here. Uh, excited to be with Chint. We're partners now. Um, I was uh, one of the early leaders at, at CPS here in North America. I got to build the business with Brian and Anton and um, just great being back here at RE Plus and seeing this team and seeing the energy that CPS has and the product line. Uh, and most importantly, really, really fun to be partnering um, with CPS from Alexa. The energy is palpable. I, I really love the vibe in the booth. So many excited customers, but we're here to talk about the 125 CPS why is this a big deal for the CNI industry, Brian? Well, I think there's been a, a little bit of a gap from, there's been a lot of availability in the residential, uh, you know, PV plus battery uh, space and large utility uh, battery. But the commercial has been underserved. So I think Chin, you know, probably about five years ago, we launched our first couple iterations of products. At that time, it was kind of like getting the business off the ground, learning, you know, learning from our mistakes. Um, we paused a little bit and uh, kind of revamped, relaunched, and now we're ready to go, you know, kind of be that market leader like we are on the PV side in, in commercial energy storage. And we were talking about a project that you just did, Heights Christian. Heights Christian, first of its kind kind of project. This is a private school in Chino, California, not too far here from Anaheim. And uh, this is a project where Alexity's software platform is optimizing solar, the battery, HVAC load at the building, and delivering on-grid services. That's something that's not happened in the CNI space. And why is that a big deal? Well, we're delivering inc incremental savings over just a traditional battery or a solar system at this site, and giving the customer a platform to manage everything in one place. Economics are fantastic. It's a less than a three-year payback period for the customer. We think what we're doing there is the future of storage in the CNI market. And we couldn't have done the project without, um, you know, the 125 kilowatt product from CPS. Like Brian mentioned, there's been a bit of a vacuum in the market for that size range of an of a energy storage project or product and um, perfect fit for the Heights Christian project. Most people understand, okay, solar, you're knocking down the overall KWH of a facility. But the battery is going to provide a whole other stack of value, attacking demand charges, capacity charges, doing energy arbitrage. Talk a little bit about the California market and why CNI storage is such an opportunity. Yeah, I mean, San Diego Gas and Electric, SCE, PG&E, these are some of the highest variable electricity rates in the country for commercial customers. Customers are paying premium pricing between that, say, 4 to 9 p.m time window each day and solar sunsets around that time. So you're left with, in, if you're a building operator, you're left with a peak between four uh, and 9 p.m. and you've got to attack that somehow. Storage and load control is a great way to do that. But in particular with the NEM3 changes here in California, exporting excess solar during the middle of the day is a very low value. It's about 70% less value than it used to be. So what we do is we install a 125 kilowatt storage system to take that excess solar during the middle of the day, charge the battery and discharge it in the afternoon and knock down those those um, those bill costs for the customer. So it's a great Keep fit. the duck curve, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, actually this project, uh, I was in a presentation yesterday and showed that load profile looks exactly like the duck curve, right? Late afternoon peak after solar, this battery system knocks it down to zero between 4 and 9 p.m. Anton, tell us a little more about the product and why you think this is an important product for the CNI market. Yeah, uh, I mean, we're really excited to uh, be showcasing this 125 kW um, as well as 250 kW size system, uh, 279 kilowatt hour, 559 kilowatt hour. Um, I mean, we see a lot of energy storage solutions um, on the market for utility scale, residential, but there's not a whole lot out there uh, for CNI at this size range. Um, and, you know, a lot of the customers that we work with, you know, more and more are attaching energy storage to their PV, things like NEM 3.0 in California, um, with the high peak charges that utilities are, um, their rate schedules are changing and being able to offset that with the storage um, has brought a huge value for, for some of these projects we're looking at.
Anything else you'd like to share about the partnership that CPS has developed with Alexity, Brian? Having a background with Chintz, um, you know, Casey and I actually go back, way back in the industry together. And, um, you know, having someone you can count on uh, when things go wrong, because they will, is um, you can't put a price tag on that. So I think, um, you know, you do business with people you like, you know, you trust. It sounds cliche. I think people underestimate that for when things go wrong. We spend all of our time in operations. We spend very little time um, in other things. It's it's the solar, it's the uh, storage operations that we think will be our focus uh, on the CPS side. And then having a great partner on the software and control side is just a great marriage that way. I'm curious, what was the spark for you, Casey, to start Alexity? Yeah, it, you know, I love the CNI market, and it's a hard market. Um, but there's a need to go bring solar and storage to the CNI space and really enable this energy transition to happen. And software is a key element to making that all work. Um, so, you know, our vision was, again, to be a platform for everything in the building um, and to capture all these different value streams for customers and, and, and deliver on deliver on the promise of, of um, the energy transition and deliver on the promise of something that's coming called VPP or virtual power plants and unlocking that in the CNI space. So we're excited to be, be on that mission. Should we talk a little bit about VPPs? Because that is a very hot buzzword here at RE Plus 2024. If we go back and we look, think about the partnership and the foundation, uh, way back in the day, we worked together for a short time in services, yeah. uh, PV services, very costly compared to what you're uh, servicing projects today. So I think the solar space, the asset management side, the O&M side has combined and there's a ton of value there. The batteries is kind of like a unknown for a lot of the CNI customers. So Chint on the design side, <clears throat> working with a partner like Alexi um, can help make that like scalable and, and be a little bit more simple. And then from an operation and a services perspective, we'll make that whole thing turnkey. So they don't have to think about that side. They just think about building it and getting off like they do with the rest of our PV side. So that's what we're excited about. Brian said a key word, simple. I mean, what we're trying to do together in this CNI space is make solar plus storage easy for the end customer. If you make it easy for the end customer, you can help them control their facility. Then you can unlock on the promise of VPP. Then you can deliver shifted load capacity to, to the utility. And as that market develops, as we go out and, and get more and more projects within customers, if we can make that solution simple, that, that's like the can opener to VPP because you've got now a control point in the building to help deliver on the promise of that down the road. So. Uh, simple is the key. And in the early days, I think when I first came to CPS, five, 10 customers, you know, it was not easy to build over now a thousand customers. Like, like companies that build solar, you know, we've done 20,000 projects in solar, maybe 20, 25 in storage. Our goal is to build a thousand companies that are doing C&I storage together and do many projects. I don't know if it'd be 20,000, but we would love it being closer to that number. And I think what we'll learn through that and what we'll push the industry to do, and then what Casey's saying, what that will open up for utilities, it's definitely like the triangle, we say, <clears throat> us as partners and our customer, we run a great triangle sometimes with the utility, um, and we're excited about that.